Alright guys, so I'm going to show you uh, real quick how to load an image with SDL. Um, if you followed the last tutorial pretty easily and you understand it, this should be very easy for you. Alright, uh, we have a few more variables to declare. Uh, we have two new surfaces, temp and image. Um, temp will be used as our buffer to load the image. And image is the actual one itself that we will be loading and SDL rect here this is what um, holds and transfers the properties of the image um, so we can display it on the screen destination deals with the destination properties where it'll show up and how big it'll be and source deals with um, what it was like where it came from and um, the more specifically, the x and y values and the height and width. Uh, h, height, w, width, x and y are both zero because it came from an image, so it doesn't have a uh, real source x and y value. And before, before we can get into that, we have to load the image. We use our buffer, as I said earlier, temp, to load that. We use that in a function called SDL load BMP. And in that we specify our image, which is in this case, as I'm doing, is image.bmp. You can do whatever image you'd like, you know, whatever image file you have. Um, this function not only deals with bitmaps or BMP files, so you will have to use a BMP file. There are ways to get other file formats but that would be using different libraries which I will not get into today. Alright, after we use the function to load it we have to check and make sure that the buffer is not null and that it got something. And we use this if statement like we did up here to initialize the window and screen. And it will display a message box if it failed. Alright, here we transfer the temp or the buffer with the contents of the buffer into image. So image equals the contents of the buffer, temp. We use it, do that using a function called SDL display format that basically as I said just transfers the contents of that into image. And since we're done using temp we can get rid of it or free it, free the surface of its contents. That way it won't be using as much memory. Alright, um, the properties, x, y, height and width. Alright, the height and width properties are basically the images. You can change these to something else, but it'll probably make the image distorted or messed up. Not what you would probably intend on it displaying, but if you want to, go ahead. And the x and y values are obviously zero because it came out of a file. So there's really no need for those. There's really no specific value we have to declare. Destination x and y, um, I chose 150. You can do whatever value you'd like for these as long as it's uh, within the however big you made your window. In this case, I made it 350 by 350 pixels. Destination height and width, images height and width. Um, you can change those to whatever, you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you'd like. May be distorted, messed up, but... Alright, SDL blitz surface. And this is a new function too. Uh, it blitz surface, that basically means uh, create the surface or draw it. Um, it takes the image and the source properties and puts it on the screen with the destination properties. And next we have flip screen uh, which basically shows that it has shows what we've done to the screen. As, like in this function we put the image and its source properties onto the screen with its destination properties. And if we had put this function after 
flip screen, it wouldn't have shown up unless we did SDL flip screen again. Alright, and after that we have SDL delay so we can see what we draw or drew uh, so the window doesn't just come up and then close down. And with that, um, just to clear up some memory in a, I guess you could say, proper way, you use SDL free surface to get rid of the image. And then we have our return zero statement. It's very simple, very not very hard at all. Uh, just a new couple functions and declaring all the properties. This can get a little a tedious to write out, so if you're doing multiple images, it's kind of helpful. Uh, just copy and paste all this and then just change the names around. Alright, um, I already compiled it, um, so I'll just bring that up. Here it is. Uh, make sure SDL DLL is in the directory as well as your image that you specified. I lost here. Sorry about that. There it is. There's our little window we drew. I just made a uh, deformed smiley face as an example. Alright, that concludes the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, feel free to ask questions that you may have.